So this trip that I am wrapping up now is a classic. It is um, going over Gunsight Pass. And so um, people start at um, Lake McDonald or they will start over at the Jackson Glacier Overlook on the east side, which is what I did. And, um, you know, this is kind of fun because it's, uh, you know, one you can do in a day, you can do as an overnighter, you can do as a couple days, you know, it just kind of depends upon your physical ability and what you're looking for. Um, but uh, we'll get started with the way that I did it. Um, I started over at Jackson Glacier Overlook, and um, you know you can see it weaves up past Gunsight Lake, over Gunsight Pass, down by Lake Ellen Wilson, um, around over by Sperry Chalet. Um, of course, you have a little up and over to Sperry Glacier, and then down to Lake McDonald. So um, over on the Jackson Glacier Overlook side, you know the first couple miles you're just walking. Um, in trees and you're dropping, um, I don't know how many people, but you're, you're, you're walking down into the valley. And, you know, it's just a walk in trees for a while. You spend a few more miles doing that. And then you finally come over to uh, Florence Falls. And Florence Falls you can see from the road. And it's um, something else. Um, it's pretty dang awesome. And, um, you know, it's, if you like waterfalls, it's definitely worth the hike in there. Um, it's about, um, about three quarters of a mile or so in there. And um, yeah, real pretty. Um, you know, you're only seeing the very bottom section of it, but it's real staircase, like just, I don't know, it's just beautiful. So yeah, that was, that's pretty fantastic. And then um, hiked up to, um, you know, when you're about two miles out, which is right around where you see um, Florence Falls, you start to get into some pretty epic views. And if you're, you know, I always tell, I always say, remember to look back because looking back, will reward you with so many different um, so many different views that you wouldn't have caught. And sometimes that's why I like out and backs because you just see the country, um, not twice, but two different ways. And sometimes it can be just as awesome either way. So, you know, make sure you look down at that St. Mary Valley and, and take a look at those. The big story this year has been avalanches. Um, and uh, we, we had a real big one rip into the old uh, Gunsight Lake area. And uh, that's pretty, it's pretty amazing when you look at the scope of this one. This is another quarter mile or so, maybe bigger, I don't know, wide avalanche. And it just, it ripped out all kinds of stuff, including the uh, bridge structure um, that you get to past the campground. And it's just, uh, you know, you can, you can get through, but there's definitely some bushwhacking involved and stuff. So if you're not up for adventure, skip gun sight this year. They should have it hopefully cleared out next year, but there's still a lot of snow and trees and whatnot. But anyways, yeah, you get to the campground and, you know, Gunsight's just such a pretty campground and I totally spaced out getting the shot of the lake from there, but uh, I have a couple of shots of the view from above, which is fantastic. Um, but um, also went over to the, there's a Jackson Glacier Overlook and uh, the first, I don't know, half mile of that trail or quarter to half mile of that trail, it is one steep trail. And um, man, it is really steep. Uh, but then you start to open up and get into some really cool like alpine meadows. And um, definitely saw lots of bear sign and what we like to call bear rototillin, where they're looking for um, roots and bulbs of like glacier lilies and all that kind of stuff. So um, you're definitely in bear, bear country. Uh, but then you finally get to the end of that and you have a really cool view of Jackson Glacier. But yeah, I, I stopped where my map said, so, and then headed back because I needed to get to camp. And um, so anyway, so yeah, you see, so you just keep, yeah, you just keep walking up that to a Gunsight Pass. And unfortunately, I started way too late, so it was a wee dark when I got to, when I finally made it up to the, uh, um, up to the pass. And so my camera was not loving me on trying to get views of the uh, shelter cabin that was up there, but I want to show what little uh, Blair Witch Project photos I, or video I got of that. And, um, but one thing to note, um, uh, the next day I was visiting with some people and I saw photos of wolverines that they had taken right up by that shelter. Super cool. And um, apparently there's been a family that's been being, being reared over there, a bunch of kids being reared up there. So that's kind of sweet. And, um, you know, of course I don't have footage of a marm, or I mean, uh, I don't have footage of a wolverine, so I'm just going to show you a marmot instead, and hopefully that'll suffice for a little bit. Anyways, uh, yeah, Lake Ellen Wilson. Um, yeah, coming down to Lake Ellen Wilson, you know, this year because we've had so much water, um, 
there is a waterfall at the head of the lake and depending upon the time that you come and the year that you come it is rock ripping and so uh, this was a, a get your shoes wet or you know go to your river shoes or whatever so that was definitely fun but it's a real real pretty lake I this is definitely one of the top campgrounds I think it's got a nice um, uh, it's got a nice rock beach that's um, it's not sand, but I mean, the, the stones are, you can walk on them with bare feet, even if you have tender feet. And, you know, it's just real pretty water, waterfalls everywhere. Um, the views are fantastic. And it's just a big long ridge that's coming off of Jackson that you're looking at. And I don't know, it just is a really cool, really cool place. And, um, but then, yeah, in order to continue over to Sperry, you gain some elevation, which your body's like, really? And then you do it and it's pretty sweet and you're just, hanging out in these really cool alpine meadows and um, you know listen for some pikas because there's a lot of them and so I got some video of them harvesting some stuff which is pretty awesome and then moved up over um, to the final little lip before you go and drop down into the old um, down to Sperry Chalet and saw a mountain goat and it's pretty common to see mountain goats up over by the chalet which is pretty fun and um, yeah so then just visited with those guys they're closing early this year so I only got a little bit of the chalet um, just because it's it's kind of being tore down the railing was off and a few things like that so um, that's something that might have to add in as a bonus feature in another year but um but yeah there was so much damage because of the uh, because they had an avalanche rip through there as well it ruined some sleeping quarters they just got some snow damage so they they open late and they're closing early so um, so they can go ahead and get all that stuff fixed for future years. So there's a lot of disappointed campers this year. And then uh, then there's a, um, the Sperry Glacier um, Overlook Trail. And so I went ahead and went over um, to that. And, you know, the walk up there is just fantastic. There's just waterfalls everywhere. And then you finally you finally make it all the way to the top. And um, here there's a cliff. And the only way up up through through Como Pass is through this little stair step with a little handhold thing and stuff which is pretty dang amazing and uh and it's just kind of i don't know just adds a little bit more adventure definitely not horse passable for sure and then of course you walk across a bunch of snow fields and you get to hesperi glacier and it's just cool to actually see a glacier up that close and just the nice blue ice and um, the views up there are just out of control fantastic and if you need a location of where you are you're actually and um, the last bait, the last spot you are where you're overlooking that actually drains into Avalanche Lake. So um, you're just up high right above that if you walk all the way out to the edge. And there's a floral park traverse that goes across there as well. It's a little bonus info for you. But then, you know, coming back down, just looking at all the, there's a bunch of sweet alpine lakes that are up in there. And just, it's really cool how it's all shelved and, you know, just boulders the size of buses and just, I don't know, it's just super cool country and I just was digging it and suffering because it was kind of a kind of a big day for me. But um, anyways, way I went back to the chalet and uh, said see you later to the folks there and started heading on down and you know you got about half a mile or so maybe after the chalet of um, of walking where you got some views and then you kind of get swallowed up in the trees and so you know it's it's a long walk in trees so just be mentally prepared for that kind of thing. So. And that's, you know, kind of the downside of this area, but, um, but it's, uh, I mean, you know, they're nice trees and all. So anyways, but uh, overall, super fantastic. I mean, it's definitely worth the walk, worth the, you know, just getting up here and checking it out. Um, Lake Ellen Wilson, if you can get a date in there, it's definitely a, a good place to camp and uh, super pretty. Maybe you'll be lucky and see a wolverine yourself. Not this time for me.